Here we are processing through the test. As you can see, Dan just now got an incorrect answer by the X indicated. The green line is indicating how long it took Dan to answer that particular question. And as Dan is taking the test, he does get instant feedback that tells them, that, hey, you got that question incorrect, and it will cycle through and allow him to retry that. We have now completed the test. So what I'm going to do is just simply close this. Go back to my browser on the left-hand side. We go ahead and pin that down so it stays. Yours may be on the page browser, but if you scroll all the way over to the right-hand side where the little clickers are, if I select that, I can come down to my results browser. Click the little plus symbol to reveal what I have inside of here. I'm going to click this. What I can do here is select this and say I just want to view results. And that's going to bring us up to this small pane that we had when the uh, test completed. And there are some very simple ways we can take a look at level 1 versus 2 versus 3 to see it looks like we've had the most trouble in level 2 because we have a total number of 3 incorrect. Well, level 1 we only had 2 incorrect. And level 3 only 1 incorrect. We may want to see more detail. So I'm going to click export. I'm going to save this to my desktop and just say self-paced question results first hour or something to that effect so I know how to identify it. I'm going to click save. In a few seconds our Excel will open up and then allow us to see what we're somewhat familiar with. Here's Dan and here's Lewis. The total number of questions are 18% correct, 83, and how long it took them. We can scroll down and see oh, question 3, which is 5 plus 5. Uh, Dan got that incorrect, etc. We can further go down and take a look. We can also click on the very bottom left, question. That's going to allow us to see question by question. So question 1, we have Dan and Lewis, which was... 1 plus 5, they got them both correct. What we can do here is scroll down and see if there's any that we got both incorrect in question number 10. Dan had to try it three times before he got it correct, while Lewis only tried it once. We can also, on the bottom tabs, click student and see here is Dan, here are his results, and go down to Lewis and here are his results here. Last one is question page. This is very similar to you know, printing it out on a worksheet type and uh, you'll be able to see what is level one, the questions here, etc. So those are the results from the self-paced question set.